Also really exciting, kind of like I mentioned briefly earlier. Hello interwebs and welcome back! I'm Shanna and this is my life and stories and adventures and opinions and whatever else I feel like. And today we are coming at you with another Wizards Unite video, finally. And I'm really, really, really sorry it's taken me so long to get this up. I had an issue where from the Brilliant Event Part 2 I basically had all of my videos from my screen recordings and everything edited and my external hard drive broke. So that happened and I pretty much lost all that footage because what I do is I take the videos from my phone, upload them to my external hard drive, delete them off my phone, and because my hard drive broke, there you go. Um, but I do have some videos left so if you stick around to the end of this video I will be sharing a little bit of gameplay and then some other gameplay stuff with you guys as well. But we have a lot of things to talk about today. So we had a huge update to the Wizards Unite game, there is a new Brilliant event coming up, Community Day has been announced, and there's a fun event happening at the end of the month. Now one of the things that is going to be a little bit hectic is that because the new update to the app actually had some issues, they pushed back the first Brilliant event, so we're going to have literally one week of Brilliant event followed by one week of Brilliant event back to back and then Community Day slammed right into the middle of that. We have a lot to talk about today. Let's talk about Brilliant Event Part 1 first. Let's go ahead and get into it. So here I am on the Wizards Unite hub and we're taking a look at the Brilliant Event Guide Stronger United Week 1. I love this website for looking at what's coming up on Wizards Unite because it is verified and up to date and usually the information has come straight from phases. So. That's fantastic. So the Stronger United Week 1 will be November 12th to November 19th, followed by Week 2, November 19th to November 26th. Let's take a look at the guide here. So the event actually starts 2 p.m. Eastern Time in America, which means that we won't be looking at it starting until the 13th early in the morning in Japan. But that's fine. We'll still have the same amount of time. We just have a, a weird time zone that we don't get to play unless you're up at 2 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. So, yeah. One of the things that I think is super exciting is going to be this free pack with four dark detectors, two potent stimulo potions, and 25 spell energy. Uh, with the update, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this, dark detectors have already been made more effective, but they will also be more effective with more higher level threat traces, higher threat level traces during this event. So that's exciting. There's also going to be a new 3k port key with brilliant foundables, brilliant runestones, and brilliant event tasks. Whoop, whoop. So about the brilliant event port key, the thing that I think is going to be really awesome is it's going to have a new location, Umbridge's Ministry Office. So that'll be really cool to take a look at that, see what's in there, and kind of explore around. I'm really excited to see it. So like most of the events, we're looking at a four-part quest for each of the events. The first one is going to be a Stronger United Quest, one out of four. We have to use one Dark Detector, return five medium threat or higher foundables, and add one friend. So as for the adding one friend thing, my recommendation is going to be to go on either Reddit or go on one of the Discord servers, or if you have another community-based thing for people that you know of, you can go on there, try and get in touch with somebody before the event and be like, hey friend, uh, let's be friends on Wizards Unite. I will add you as soon as the new event starts. That way you can go ahead and get that done and then you can knock out the other two things because using one dark detector is gonna be super easy. Although I do recommend when you use your dark detectors, go ahead and use three because it's kind of a waste to use just one and then returning by medium threat foundables especially if you've got that dark detector going no problem at all so for part two of four for the Stronger United quest, we have three tasks as well, like always. The first task is going to be brew two strong stimulo potions, use two strong stimulo potions, and return five high threat or higher foundables. So what you need to do for this is before the event starts, I recommend going ahead and brewing these two strong stimulo potions, as well as potent ones, I'll tell you why in just a second. And don't click on them, just let them hover over the little cauldron and wait for you until you get to this part of the quests because then you can go ahead and grab them and you'll have that done then you can use them which you're going to be one of using them anyway because you're going to be going through all the different fortresses and the chambers and whatnot so get them use them 
be ready. It'll be easy enough as long as you are prepared for it. Next, for part three of four, this is why I told you to go ahead and brew two potent extimulo as well. You need to brew two potent extimulo potions. So get those set up the day before. Don't click on them. Let them hover over the cauldron and wait until you get to this quest to tap on them. Use three potent extimulo potions. Again, you're going to be going through the fortresses and whatnot, so those should be very easily gone through, especially with the new update, which I will get to later. You also need to return five brilliant Mad-Eye Moody foundables, which hopefully won't be too difficult to find. We'll see. And finally, for part 4-4, you're going to need to use two dark detectors, return five high threat or higher foundables, and then return five brilliant tox tonks foundables. So that should be easy enough to do, especially if you've got your dark detectors going. Remember, like I said, use three, not two. It's kind of a waste to use anything less than three, and you should be able to get those five high threat or higher foundables fairly easily. Now, we do have a bonus assignment which is really exciting i love that they're doing the bonus assignment now because it gives me something to continue working on and they're normally more difficult so for this we have to return 30 medium threat or higher foundables return 20 high threat or higher foundables and then return three severe threat foundables so that is definitely going to be more difficult to do However, not impossible if you give yourself enough time to do it. Keep in mind, if you don't have time to get to this bonus assignment or to complete it, it doesn't really matter because you're still going to be able to complete the page for the brilliant event. So don't stress about it. Now, if you want a little bit of advice for doing this last bonus assignment, my recommendation is going to be to use those dark detectors at an inn where you're not going to be in a flagged area. And if you can find somewhere that has like a bunch of inns in a not flagged area and put a bunch of dark detectors up, it's gonna be even easier then. Now let's take a look at some of what the foundables are gonna look like. We have our Mad Eye Moody, I freaking love him. He's amazing. And our brilliant top. Why do I keep calling her Tox? Tonks. <laughs> we also have Amelia Bones, which is going to come from the event tasks. We have Rufius Skig... Skig I can't talk today, and they want me to pronounce these hard names. Rufus Skimgior. <sighs> Sorry. And he's also going to come from the event tasks. We have Kingsley Shacklebot, which is going to come from the Portkey Portmanteaus, and Gethsemane Prickle, who's going to come from the Wizards Unite challenges. So make sure you're going to those fortresses doing those challenges, and those are a great place to be using your potions. Next, let's talk about Community Day. There's not a lot of details about that right now, other than it's going to be November 17th, which is a Sunday. Now, on this Sunday, we're looking at doing mostly fortresses, I guess is what it's going to be centered around, but like I said, there's not a lot of details about that right now. However, you can go ahead and start planning with your friends, so that way you can have a group to go out and do the fortresses together, because as always, the higher fortresses you do, the higher level you get to, the more rewards you're going to get. So I'm really looking forward to that, and hopefully I can get a little bit of a group together. Next, let's talk about the game update, which is super, super exciting. So, potions work on multiple traces now, which I think is fantastic and that means that you can use a fortress on a foundable use it and it's a say potent extimulo potion which you get five casts on you only use one you get it in the first cast the next foundable that you use it on it's still going to work if you go into a fortress right after it's going to work whatever you used it on it's going to continue until you've used all of the spell casts for it which is awesome because it makes the potions so much more valuable Keep in mind that the download alert for assets, the little dot, has been missing. I have not seen it coming up. So make sure that you go in and download your assets. There have been quite a few updates recently, especially with the problems that they had. They fixed it. So go download your assets. Go do it. There's also a new page in the registry to collect the Legends of Hogwarts, which is really exciting. So go take a look at that and get to collecting. I actually found one today. I tried to screen record, but... I think I turned it on and then accidentally turned it off because nothing recorded, so sorry about that. But go take a look, you'll see it's really exciting and it should be related to the event too. Also really exciting, kind of like I mentioned briefly earlier, the dark detectors give an increased amount of higher level traces, which is really nice because I always felt like the dark detectors as well as the trace potion, they actually... <laughs> 
don't do that much. So I'm excited that more is going to be happening and then with the event happening it's going to be even more, which is exciting for me, I think. I'm looking forward to it. Yay! Now, the bonus event is another thing that we don't know much about. It's going to be happening from November 26th through December 2nd, and that is going to be the Legend of Hogwarts event. So that has a lot to do with the new registry page that came in, I'm assuming. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. I'm excited about the Brilliant event. I'm excited about Community Day. It's going to be busy, especially with work packed into all that too, but we're going to make it happen. Let me know what you're excited about down in the comments below. Stick around if you want to see a little bit of gameplay. Once again, I'm uh, very sorry that stuff got messed up and I'm doing my best to keep up to date with you guys. So I, I hope you're understanding. And I also hope that you're enjoying my other content as well. And uh, get to playing. Get, get out there. Get some foundables. And let's go ahead and take a look at some gameplay. So first up, we have a few clips that were able to survive from the Brilliant Event Part 2 that I'm going to share with you, and then we're going to get into sharing some of the Halloween event, and I'll talk a little bit about that as well. And here we have some of the gameplay from the Halloween event, which I really, really, really enjoyed other than the fact that I was playing by myself. I couldn't get together with any of the girls who I'd met playing Lizard Unite. And even though I was going back and forth between two different fortresses that were randomly lighting up green, I couldn't find anybody else playing, which was really disappointing. But I still had a lot of fun playing by myself, and I really enjoyed this event. So I hope that they do something like this again, and I hope that oh, next time I can actually have people to play with. wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you don't know what to comment down below, leave some lightning bolt emojis for Harry Potter. None of those app on my channel a lot. It lets me know that you were here. It gives us a chance to chat. It lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, I love to see your faces down there. If you want another way to support my channel down below, there are links to my merch store, my Patreon, as well as my website. If you guys want to check those out, you can, but there's zero obligation there, so don't feel like you have to. But of course, it's always appreciated. I uh, just want to say thank you guys again. Appreciate you understanding and being patient with me. And I love you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye! For the Stronger United Quest 2 out of 4, we're looking at brewing 2 ex... Blah, blah, blah. So for part 2 of 4, this... Blah, blah, blah. So... So, what you need to do to prepare for this is before the, the event starts... I just really stumbled over my words, sorry. <laughs> Which you're gonna be using them anyway because you're gonna be going through all of the different, uh, <laughs> all of the different, again, you're gonna be, blah, blah, blah. Again, you're gonna be going through the, the, why am I struggling over my words so badly today? Next, let's talk about the game update, which is, oh, hold on, I gotta stretch out. Ugh.